Hi, my name is Martin Gadsby of Optimal, and today I'd like to talk to you about CintiQ. What is it and why do I need it? But first of all, where does the name come from? Well, the name comes from synchronized total quality. So as you may guess, it's all to do with controlling quality in your process. It is what we call a PAT knowledge manager. So it's controlling knowledge within a PAT system. So the next question is, what's PAT? Well, PAT stands for Process Analytical Technology. And essentially, it comprises of measuring, understanding, controlling, and then improving your process. Now, you might say in traditional processes, I'm already measuring and controlling my process. But the key differentiator is we're measuring product quality, understanding the process in a scientific way, and controlling the process based on product quality. PAT can deliver improved quality and improved consistency of quality. It can actually reduce the cost of development and the cost of manufacture. It can decrease the development and manufacturing times. CintiQ is all about making sense of the complex. So when you deploy a PAT system, you're going to have multiple instruments in your process and you need to be able to interface to all these instruments, maybe configure them and then collect data from them. You then need to be able to make sense of this data because we're running in a multivariate area here. So you need to be able to change the complex data structures you're getting into critical quality attributes, the prediction of quality in real time. And to do this, you need a mathematical modelling technique called chemometrics or also called multivariate analysis. And this information is typically the predicted quality attributes of your product in real time, i.e. in a timely fashion. You also need to interface to control systems. You also need to interface to other third-party systems such as historians, perhaps laboratory information systems and many other third-party systems. So ideally, your PAT knowledge manager needs to be able to talk to all these different instrumentation and data sources and consumers, all of which talk in different languages in different ways and have different time requirements. And your PAT knowledge manager needs to share information in different ways. Your PAT scientist will want to see different information displayed in a different way to your chemometrician who wants to see data displayed in a different way to your production manager. So there's a myriad of different ways of displaying the data and you need to be able to change this data as I say, into information then information into knowledge. You probably also want to be able to collect data and make multiple predictions per second. If you're running a continuous process, this is very likely. If you're running a system with multiple unit operations, this is very likely. So your system has to be able to talk all these different languages at high speed. You also need to be able to run logic, math functions, algorithms from your PAT manager and also perhaps liaise, as it were, talk to the operators, to the users of the system to prompt them to do different actions, to perhaps to go and re-reference instrumentation, this type of thing. There are nearly an infinite number of architectures that you can put together to configure a system. So the system has to be very flexible, very extensible. When you start off on day one, your system will be running in a, an adequate but not perfect way. You need to improve that over the weeks, months, years until you can get no more benefits. Your PAT Knowledge Manager helps you with your continuous improvement program so you can continue to optimise and then retest the models in, that you're going to apply to your process. It also has to be scalable. Maybe your first PAT deployment is going to be fairly small but then you want to grow the system into a much larger application. Well, maybe all the IP that you developed in that process, you want to be able to roll onto the next system. So you need a system that is extensible, but then can reuse all the IP that you developed. You want total data integrity, and you also want a system that's going to work within your quality and regulatory compliant framework. So to achieve all this, it is complex. And we feel the only decisions are, do I build a system myself? or do I actually purchase an industry standard package? If you are considering deploying PAT and you want to talk to us about a knowledge manager, then please do give Optimal a ring and we'd be delighted to talk to you about it.